How y'all doing tonight? Hope y'all having a good Christmas season. We're getting ready for, you know, Christmas coming up here any day now. Uh, today's the 18th. So, I know I had not had time to do a video in a while. It's been real busy at work and everything like that. But tonight I wanted to do a small one. I kind of wanted to get started with some good down home food. It's cold outside. I want some good, you know, home food, soul food, whatever you want to call it. I want to do some purple hull peas and some neck bones, the poor neck bones. It's going to be real good. It's going to be a slow cooker deal. Let it simmer, cook overnight. It'll be ready in the morning. Tomorrow I'm off work, so we're going to have a good, good meal. So let's get started. We've got a pot here, a little bit of olive oil in there. We've got a little bit of frozen trini. Just going to simmer that down. Two that trini, since I had it, I added a little bit of miracle, a little bit of carrots. So <laughs> it's going to be good. Let's let that simmer down. I'm simmering down over there. Got my crock pot over here. We're gonna place these neck bones. Some nice neck bones here. We got from the butcher in the bottom of the crock pot. Don't turn on or anything. We're just gonna get these ready because we're gonna pour those um, those purple hull peas and everything over these neck bones. Now that these uh, just start to sweat down here. Go in with some seasoning. I got some sloppy mama here. You can use whatever you want, some kind of Cajun seasoning. Let's see. Open it up here. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of it, even tablespoon, right in there. And stir that around. Get that good seasoning. This next step is very important. You want to do this. You want to get a vinegar-based hot sauce. This here I'm using. It's in the sriracha bottle. I'm not using sriracha. I'm using Frank's Red Hot. I think it's what it is. Yeah. I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, four tablespoons of that hot sauce in there. That's important. A hot sauce, you use that vinegar in there, and then it really helps to tenderize that uh, the pork and the neck bone. Also gives a good flavor to it. Got that in there. I have my frozen purple hull peas. This is one pound of peas. I'll stir all that around. that in there. Now I've got 32 ounces of chicken stock. I just used the box kind for this. I add that. And we're just going to bring this up to a simmer. Then we'll add it back over there to our neck bones. We're back over here to neck bones. I brought my peas and everything up to a slight simmer. And then we pour all this over the neck bones. Let me get something, just kind of get all those peas down in there. Well, these neck bones are going to give off a lot of liquid too. We're going to push these peas down in there and make it flat because you don't want them sticking out of the liquid. You can add a little bit more water if you're worried about this, but like I said, I know that this liquid is going to rise in here. This is going to be perfect. Oh, wow. Now, I've turned this on low. I'm going to cap it off and we'll let this cook all night. And I'm telling y'all what, this is going to be some really good stuff in the morning. I'm going to have to try this one. Now that our neck bones and our black eyed peas have been cooking overnight, 
Yep, this morning. Let's give them a taste. Got a good black eye. You know, one thing you gotta watch out for something like this is, you know, you got those little bones flaking off. Have to pick those out. Make sure those don't get in your peas. So I'm getting me a couple of these little peas here. You go down here and get me one of these good neck bones. Let meat just falling off the bone. Falling off the bone. There's neck bones. I'm probably going to go through here and just pick out the bone because the meat's just falling off. We'll give me a little side.